Welcome to Asterisk Classes, where we dive deep into the intriguing world of periphera, more commonly known as sponges. In this episode, we'll uncover the unique characteristics that make these aquatic creatures truly remarkable. 1. Poor-bearing animals, periphera. The name periphera literally means poor-bearing animals. Sponges are named after the countless tiny pores covering their bodies, which play a crucial role in their filter-feeding mechanism. 2. Simple body structure. Sponges have one of the simplest body structures in the animal kingdom. They lack true tissues and organs, consisting mainly of specialized cells embedded in a gel-like matrix. 3. Asymmetrical anatomy. Unlike many other animals, sponges exhibit asymmetrical body shapes. They can take various forms from encrusting on surfaces to branching structures. 4. Filter feeding. Sponges are filter feeders. They use specialized cells called coanocytes to create water currents that bring in microscopic food particles. These particles are trapped and digested within the sponge's body. 5. Skeletal elements. To provide support and protection, sponges have unique skeletal elements known as spicules. These can be composed of different materials like silica or calcium carbonate. 6. Canal system. Sponges are renowned for their unique canal system. This intricate network of canals and chambers allows for efficient water flow, aiding in filter feeding 7. Aquatic habitat. Sponges are primarily aquatic and are found in a wide range of aquatic environments, from shallow coastal waters to deep sea ecosystems. 8. Reproduction. Sponges reproduce both sexually and asexually. They can produce specialized reproductive structures called gemmules and even exhibit external fertilization in some cases. 9. Ecological role. Sponges play a crucial role in marine ecosystems. They provide habitat and shelter for many other marine organisms and contribute to nutrient cycling. Examples. Sea sponge. Found in marine environments, sea sponges are known for their filter feeding abilities and are essential components of coral reef ecosystems. Glass sponge. These sponges have siliceous spicules and are often found in deep-sea habitats. Freshwater sponge, family spongilidae. Some sponges adapt to freshwater environments, like rivers and lakes, and play roles in their respective ecosystems. That's all for today's lecture. Stay connected with us for the next liqueur. Have a nice day!